Hey everyone, if you've already started putting your spring outfits together, but you are stumped on what to put on your feet, this is the video for you. I have almost 30 pairs of shoes to recommend to you. No, I am not suggesting that you need to run out and get 30 pairs of shoes, but all of the shoes I have for this season are broken down into categories, and I have personally worn these, some for many, many miles. So if you are looking on ways to fill in the holes in your shoe wardrobe, I have got you covered. I think I have something for everyone on heel height, shoe width, casual, dressy, all the different price points. Let's jump in. Starting with more athletic wear. A big trend for spring are white sneakers. I make that face because when are they not on trend? I have one pair that I have stood by for years and years and years, and they are these sneakers from Madewell. They are called their low profile sidewalk sneaker. And the reason I love these the most out of all the white sneakers that I have tried is first of all, the low profile makes it a lot easier to pair with pants and dresses of different lengths. That's kind of key when trying to figure out how to wear sneakers with pants and joggers and all the things. So the lower profile on the side of the ankle gives you a little more leeway. I also like that the toe isn't so rounded. It's an almond shape. It elongates the foot a little bit. Most of the sneakers we're seeing are the big dad type. They're chunky, they're cut off. I just don't think it's a flattering look for most of us. And then finally, and most importantly, with all of these shoes, whether they're sneakers or four inch heels, these are super comfortable. Now you might have noticed that I don't have the traditional shoelaces in these. That is because I've replaced them with something I've been using, I think it's close to a decade now, and these are called no tie shoelaces. They come in lots of colors. I have replaced the laces on so many of my shoes with these. You can tighten them from the inside and then they make all of your tie shoes slip on shoes. An alternative to the sneaker, just as comfortable, maybe not quite as much support, but I think it's a chicer, more elegant, more elevated look than a sneaker is this shoe. I've been sharing this for months. I love these. These are driving loafers or driving moccasins. They do have the rubber sole, treads similar, some would say, to a sneaker. It's just something you can swap out. So anything you would wear a sneaker with, you can wear this with. And this comes in a bunch of other colors. I've also picked this up in pink. I would say the sizing on this one runs a little wide and a little long. So I am a size seven in almost every shoe I've ever tried on. In these, I size down to a six and a half. Let's move on to now flats and specifically flat slides. So these are open toed. So first, I'm gonna share these. These are brand new to me. I just shared them in my most recent video. These are from Walmart. These are from the Time and True brand. And what I love about Walmart shoes is first of all, they're extremely affordable. They're very fashionable and they hold up. They're also really comfortable. I think all of them come with the memory foam insole. So this is a woven, I'd say this is inspired by, I wanna say Bottega Veneta. And I'm realized that as we go through this, a lot of the shoes that I'm sharing are designer inspired, but I have to tell you, I'm not really up in my designer shoes. I just bought them because I think they look pretty. So if you recognize what designer inspired any of these shoes, please let me know in the comments below. So I believe that this woven band is inspired by some Bottega Veneta shoes. I could be completely wrong on that. Regardless, I don't really care. I like the look of them. They do also come in other colors, but metallics are a big trend for spring. I'm sure going into summer and it's an easy way to incorporate a neutral with a little bit of a pop. Sticking with the metallic theme and the slides, these are from Avara. I think the sizing is limited on what's still available. I know that this is a Luffler Randall inspired design at a much more budget friendly price point. I know a ton of retailers are doing their version of this shoe. So I will look for some alternatives in about the same price point as these, not the original designer ones and link them below. It has a more modern abstract bow, which is another trend for spring, summer. Just think of just a basic white t-shirt and jeans and you throw these on instead of white sneakers and it's suddenly a more elevated, sophisticated outfit, but it, it's really not. I've mentioned this quite a few times over the years, but I have to say that I am not a fan of all black shoes, generally speaking, on my feet. I feel like it just draws the eye down. It's almost like doing heavy black eyeliner under your eyes. It just draws the eye down. It makes everything look heavy, but occasionally you need some black shoes. You, you just do. I like these. They're a new discovery to me. They're from Time and True. So again, with the memory phone, very nice price point because it's not straight black. It has this really nice white embroidery stitching and this does come in other colors as well. I like that it's not the solid black and I like that these are really, really comfy too. I'm gonna stop saying that because these are all super comfortable until we get to the heels and even then most of them for a heel are pretty comfortable.
comfortable. So just going forward, just know I will never ever recommend to you shoes that hurt or earrings that are too heavy. These shoes are inspired, I think originally by an Hermes shoe and then so many other brands ran with it. I have a version from Sam Edelman. I think that everybody has. This one is even less expensive. This is from an Amazon brand and it comes in so many colors. But why I chose the Raffia specifically is that this is a material that's more common for spring summer. So when we're talking about spring summer shoes, obviously open toed or just not fully enclosed is something that's top of mind as the weather gets warmer. Think about the materials. You can wear suede year round, but you're gonna see more woven, more raffia, lighter tones, that sort of thing. So this does come and I think, I wanna say 20 or 30 options, but I really like the raffia. And this too has a little bit of padding so that it's really comfortable for a flat and a tiny, 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 I don't wanna call this a heel, but at least you're not flat slap on the ground. I probably should have mentioned earlier about my shoe size. I am traditionally pretty much a seven across the board. I don't have a wide foot, but for a normal width, it is on the wider side. This next shoe makes me chuckle because I was not a fan of the classic Birkenstock for a long time. And I'm leaving it out of this one because I think of that as more of a summer shoe, which makes no sense, but we're gonna go with it. I've been wanting these, so I finally put in my order for the big buckle Birkenstock. And I deliberately chose this ivory with the big gold buckle because it just doesn't look so much like the traditional Birkenstock. It looks like a nice molded footbed sandal. Now the advice that I read was to go up a half size, which I did and they fit okay, but I think you should just get your true size. What would you wear this with? I foresee myself wearing this with any kind of shorts, outfits, sundresses, joggers, linen pants. This is a pretty utilitarian shoe. It feels almost more like an athletic shoe. It's very comfortable with the molded footbed, but it's a little dressier because we have almost, I mean, it's a very smooth leather. It's almost patent and the nice shiny gold buckle. Since we're on the topic of Birkenstocks, it seems that they have set off this huge trend among all the other shoe brands for them to come up with their version of a shoe that has a molded footbed and a two band strap. And let me introduce you to what I think is going to be taking all the retailers by storm. This one is by the brand, I believe it's pronounced Schutz. Schutz? You will note, it looks very much like a Birkenstock, just upgraded. So the nice smooth leather, I've seen it with woven straps as well. The bamboo like buckles here, very cute. And there is a molded footbed, but it's not an exposed cork. So it's a little more, I don't wanna say it's elegant. It's just a little nicer. It's like a Birkenstock upgrade. These are very comfortable. You can adjust the straps for width and these do come in other colors, but I love this rich tan. It's gonna go with all the things. And if I haven't given you enough options for a sort of molded footbed shoe, here is my last one. I'm not suggesting you buy every single pair of these shoes. I'm not even suggesting you buy any of these shoes. These are just suggestions. If you're looking for a shoe in this category, one of these may be speaking to you. Okay, this one is a classic year after year, a bestseller, and it does come in quite a few colors. One of the options is a raffia. I got it in more of the ivory leather with a tortoise shell buckle. This one in particular for me does run big. I size down a half size to a six and a half. And I rarely have to do this because like I said, my shoe, my shoe width runs toward the wider side. I did have to tighten this buckle. They're not always decorative. This is from Sam Edelman. It has a little bit of a platform wedge, tiny, very subtle. If you have a pair of pants that are just a little too long, you wanna get them from dragging on the floor, this is the shoe I reach for. Oftentimes, if I can wear an outfit with a white sneaker or the driving loafer, I can also pair it with this one. It's just an everyday easy shoe that goes with pretty much every casual outfit that you can think to put together for spring and summer. Hopefully this next category will help those of you that are still living in chillier weather. If you're still dealing with straight up winter weather, I'm sorry, it's boots and booties for you. But these are the all encompassing sort of ballet flats, Mary Janes, the cap toes, the sling backs, the loafers. Let's get into a few. So the one I've been reaching for the most, I I love this one is this mesh shoe. I said mesh. I believe I'm wearing the beige. It also comes in a lighter nude and maybe another color. Every retailer is showing a version of this. I found these on Amazon. I wanted to know that I like these before maybe I committed to another pair. I do have another pair to share with you. These have little crystals all around it. It does have a little bit of a molded footbed with some insole support. So it's not just a straight flat shoe. It's quite comfortable. The reason I picked these specifically, I didn't want the kind that had a strap that buckled. I wanted to be able to pull these on and off or slip in and out of them without having to deal with a buckle. Am I lazy? Yes, I am. It does incorporate that kind of 
the ballet shoe trend that's going on, it has a little bow. So this is the one with crystals on it. So once I determined that yes, I'm on board with this mesh ballet flat, I went ahead and ordered from one of my favorite brands, Dolce Vita, this shoe, very similar, except this one has little pearls all over it. And it does have the little bow. And you may note that this one is not unpackaged. It's because when I tried it on, for whatever reason, even though I'm a size seven in every pair of Dolce Vita shoes I own, these run a little big. So I'm gonna send them back and size down to the six and a half. But as you can see, these pearls are beautiful. A Little bit different from the crystal mesh Amazon version, but not a, not a huge difference. Huge, price point. I'll give you that. I tried to find some with pearls on Amazon. I was unsuccessful. I'm not big on the classic fully encased loafer shoe, unless we're talking about driving loafers, but I do love a loafer mule and I love it when you can combine another trend with it. So these are more of a raffia type material. I like that they came out with a different kind of chain across it. It reminds me of the one that was on the Schutz two band slide. It's almost like a bamboo. It kind of reminds me of some Gucci hardware that I've seen. I don't know what inspired this, but I don't really care. I just really like them. I love the neutral color and I like the price point. And as far as what you wear with this kind of shoe, so I don't know why, it's just me. There are no rules here. I don't like wearing dresses with shoes like this. I'd rather just wear a sandal. I like to wear these with wider leg type pants, linen pants come to mind. I don't love a backless shoe like this with a tapered leg or a straight leg. It's got to be something that's a little more loose and flowy where the bottom of the hem kind of just floats right above the, the break in the shoe. And then I am late to the sling back cap toe party, but when I picked these up from Talbot's, I am all in. So one of the reasons I've been slow to go into the sling back trend is because as a kid or early teen, I wore them back in the 80s, early 90s, and they really hurt. They would dig into the back of my foot and those memories run deep. First of all, you can adjust with the buckle here and it has some elastic in the strap. The other reason is most of the sling back, or I should say in this case, cap toe shoes that I've seen have a black cap toe. And I've already discussed how I feel about that. These, however, are navy with cream. Now this does come in two other colors and one of the other colors is a deeper tan with a black cap, which I think is great. Anyway, these are from Talbot's and these have some really nice support in them as well. And they do run true to size. And I think these would look great with wider straight leg jeans, any kind of wider jeans or pants. They would definitely dress up a very casual outfit. And I know I talked about how with the loafers, I don't like to wear those with dresses, but because there is a bit of a back a little bit to it with the strap, I could see wearing these with some sundresses as well. Now we're moving into one of my favorite categories. I do prefer a shoe with a bit of a heel. I love how it makes my legs look longer and thinner, and I am just barely five foot four, so I need all the height I can get. I just feel stronger and more powerful when I've got a heel on and I'm still comfortable wearing heels and I'm gonna keep wearing them until I'm not. So I'm gonna share this next category which is wedges slash espadrilles and we're gonna move from the shortest heel to the highest heel. So first I recently shared these. This is a very low wedge. I mean, it's just barely a little bit higher in the back than it is in the front. These are from the drop on Amazon. They come in quite a few colors. They run true to size and I love an espadrille. Now I live in Texas and we love our espadrilles almost as much as we love our cowboy boots. So these are definitely a staple. And if you're looking for an easy to wear lower heeled wedge, definitely recommend these. I mentioned earlier that you can wear suede year round. It's just about what colors you pick. And so I wanted to show this espadrille wedge to you. So this is actually a two-tone, two different, very light suede colors here, all suede here. This does come in smooth leather as well, but I love the softness of the suede against my foot. This is another lower heel. This is from the brand Pelamoda. I've been wearing their shoes, I think since early last fall and really fell in love with the brand. Super high quality, well-made, and the heels are very wearable. So I'd say this one is about, it's hard to say, maybe two inches. I think most of their shoes are about two, two and a half inches. Now we're getting into the higher heel height on the espadrilles, my personal favorite. These I found, I think last summer, and I just want you to see, I never cleaned them when the end of the season came around. So this is what they look like, just pulled out of my closet. They've held up incredibly well. I love the clear strap, a trend we're continuing to see into 2024. These go with all the things. They do come in other colors, and by other colors, 
colors. I mean, the straps are clear, but the insole, I guess you'd call this, comes in different colors. So you just maybe get a peak of brown or a peak of black. This is definitely more of, I say, four inch on the back end and a one inch in the front. And it's another reason why I like a platform type espadrille, because even though it's giving you four inches of height, you're really walking on only three inches when you factor in the front platform. And then these are the newest ones to my espadrille wedge collection. And these are from Avara and these are my highest. This is a four and a half inch heel with a one inch in the front. So it's only three and a half inches. I love the color. It's very neutral. It goes with so many things. The braided strap is nice and soft. It's not gonna bind across the top of your foot. I hate it when that happens. And I would wear these with mostly just dresses, to be honest. Loose, flowy sundresses, pretty much what I live in starting around mid-April through September. And while I think of these as a more casual shoe, the height and the nature of them, they're still a little bit dressy as well. So if you had a not formal evening event, these could definitely work. I try not to play favorites, but this category is my favorite and I'm calling these the block heeled sandals. They're my go-to once the weather gets warm. I find them the easiest to walk around in. I find that they are the most comfortable for me and they go with so many different outfits. So again, we're gonna start from the lowest heel height and generally go up to the highest. So the first one I've recently shared and it combines a few trends here. This is technically a clog. We all think of clogs as these big, thick, chunky heels. And this is, it's just a lower heel height. It's the nice wooden heel. And we're combining the metallics in there as well. This one doesn't have the memory foam in it, but it does have a nice sort of rubber clear sole to it. So you won't go sliding around in these, which is something that happens with a lot of the wood soled shoes. So I can appreciate that. These are really, really comfortable. And I think if you don't already have a gold casual shoe, if you will, in your collection, this is probably gonna be your most worn option. Next, we have more of the classic black heel, a little bit more height. This one is about two inches. We have the double band strap, also kind of a classic look that you find in the spring and summer. This one does have the memory foam, and I like that they have the embossing on the, it's faux leather, but the leather right here, so if it peeks through between your toes, it does finish nicely. All of these shoes can be worn interchangeably with a million different outfits. This is just one of those shoes that if you're going on say vacation and you wanna limit how many shoes you throw in your suitcase, this is gonna go with so many options. Next, we have metallics and black heel again, and this does come in other colors. We're supposed to be seeing a lot more silver this season. I have seen honestly more gold, but if you're looking for a silver shoe, here is one for you. Sort of a classic shape. I feel like I wore something that looked like this in the early 90s. It's a little more modernized for today's time, and because it's from Scoop, it has the smooshy insole, which I can appreciate. This also comes in a gorgeous sort of hot pink, almost metallic leather if you wanna add some color to your shoe wardrobe, but I love a basic silver. What outfit would you wear with this with? Think a white t-shirt and jeans and throw these on instead. You don't have to get too out of the box. Anything where you would wear something, say this color, you can easily swap it out for a silver or a gold. We'll get to these in a minute. Okay, let's get to them right now. These are a very kind of modern twist on the block heeled sandal. We have an interesting kind of modern abstract cut out here. I love this neutral tone. And then it brings in the raffia and texture that we like to see in spring and summer. It's not a crazy high heel, brings the raffia texture to the front as well. These are really comfortable, extremely well-made, and they do have a little bit of support built up in here, and they're smushy on the inside too. That's the technical term. In my favorite category, these coming up are my favorite so far. So I'm sure we all remember, the trend didn't go away until probably the end of last year, the Dolce Vita Paley sandal. I have worn mine, I'd say to pieces, but they've held up incredibly well. Well, I have been told by whomever, the powers that be, that we're moving away from the all braided double strap look and we're moving into something else. I still have my Paley's, I'm still gonna wear them, but Dolce Vita is the brand that came out with the Paley's and now this I think is gonna be the shoe of the season. It's the same silhouette, generally speaking. The heel I think is a little more refined, but here's what I really love. First of all, it comes in all the colors that the Paley did. So all the different skin tones and neutrals and fabulous there. I like the texture, it's sort of like a faux snake 
snakeskin texture, but instead of the big puffy braided straps, which let's be real, they add bulk to your feet. Do we want bulk on our feet? I don't. These lay flat against the skin and because they come in skin tones, it's just a natural extension of your foot. It's going to make your leg look longer and leaner. Who doesn't love that? I've mentioned that I like my neutrals and as you can see, I generally go toward the lighter tan, something that is close to my skin tone, but just a little bit deeper. But for some outfits, a white shoe would pull better and maybe that's just a little bit too stark. So I have some more cool toned, lighter neutral shoes to share with you. This goes beyond the basics to like the next step if you wanna add some different colors to your shoe collection. So the first one are these black heeled shoes and these aren't braided straps. They do have a texture to them, but they do lay flatter against the top of the foot. And as you can see, these are taupe, light taupe. I would wear these in lieu of a white sandal if you don't want something so stark against your foot. Much like I don't love black shoes, I generally, not always, but generally don't love white shoes either. I feel like it's just too much of an extreme on either end. In any event, these are really comfortable. They are a bit of a platform. So even though this heel has some height to it, there's a little bit of height in the front as well. So it's not quite as tall. And obviously you have a nice thick base to walk around in. The last shoe from this category is similar, except it is even lighter. These are more of a taupe. This is more, I'd say, an ivory. And it has a wood heel, which is a lot of fun. It's a fun texture. This looks like faux snake skin. Love that they wrap it around the sides. This one does have a little bit of memory foam up here on the toe bed. Well, in the middle of the foot, I would say, not in the toe bed. This, I would say, is the kind of shoe where if you already have your tan kind of neutral shoe and you just want to add something else to the wardrobe of your shoes, this is a great color option. Let's finish this up with the dressy shoes. 90% of the time, I'm in something I just showed. I'm not gonna show you shoes that are uncomfortable, but obviously I'm gonna be able to walk around a lot longer in these than in a four inch stiletto heel. However, I have some to show you. So the first heel that I'm gonna share with you is sort of a casual dressy shoe. You can make this go in a variety of ways. This is a little kitten heel. I've shared her before. Open toe, again from Palamoda. This is that mushroom taupey suede. This does come in a bunch of leather options as well. I think like an ivory leather. So some great spring summer colors. I love the suede, this color for spring and summer though. And I do feel, this is a little specific, but as the weather warms up and your feet, my feet get Get rather warm. The suede feels like it breathes better than pure leather. Is it in my head? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. But I think this is a beautiful shoe. And if you don't want to wear a full heel, I think you could get away with this. If you want it to be even a little dressier, go for the ivory leather or one of the leather options. I've been admiring this shoe on so many other people. I finally broke down and got them for myself. This is from the brand Schutz. They're pretty famous for this clear banded heel. There's the, This is a true stiletto. And mine is so new, I still have the price tag on mine. These have not been out of the house just yet. These do come in different colors and just like the Amazon Espadrille with the clearer brand, by colors I mean this part of the shoe comes in different colors. So you, I've seen people wearing these with the black insole, this one, several of the colors. It's just a great go-to shoe for spring and definitely summer for dressier events because you don't have to worry about having a shoe to match all your different dresses. This one's going to go with every single one of them. I did share this recently in my Amazon finds and my wedding guest dress suggestions. I know this one was inspired by the Jimmy Choo version and I may end up splurging on that at some point, but for now I'm quite satisfied with these. They do come in quite a few versions of patent leather. I'm sure it's not real patent leather. This is an Amazon find, but obviously what we love about this is this beautiful crystal strap across the top of the foot. The nice thing about these is they do come in two heel heights. I went for the higher one, but if you prefer a lower heel, that is an option as well. I went with my regular size. They are very comfortable. I could definitely dance the night away in these. That is a requirement for any shoe for a formal event. I think they're really elegant and really pretty. And this is a style that may be newer, but I don't think it's gonna go away anytime soon. I think these are gonna be similar to the Versace rock studs. You're gonna see these popping up in different shoe combinations for years. This next shoe isn't specific to spring or summer, but I have to share because it's my 
my most worn pump. And I did originally get this for a summer event last year, I believe. These are the Sam Edelman Hazel Pointed Toe Pumps. If you need a pump, and I prefer a pump, I feel like I have more support than in a strappy shoe. These are the most comfortable ones I have found. I can stand in these for hours when I'm going to conferences and events. This is the shoe I reach for. I just keep buying it over and over in different colors. They do have one for spring with lots of like little floral and gold all over it. It's a little busy for my taste. They have a rattan texture one as well, which I may end up picking up. But if you buy one, one shoe from the Sam Edelman Hazel collection. This shade is called Cappuccino. It's a suede. It is the ultimate cool toned neutral. It goes with almost everything. And it's, I feel, a shoe that if you can or want to wear a heel, you will not regret this purchase and you will find yourself reaching for it over and over. And over. I'm gonna end with my last shoe recommendation, one of my newer shoes and a fabulous find. So I, for years, have been recommending the Sarah Flint shoe that looks just like this one, but it is over $500. It's a great shoe, but I realize it's not a price point for everyone. Now this one is still not budget friendly. It's in the 200s, but it's less than half of the Sarah Flint shoe and super comfortable and a brand I'm really enjoying and I wanna explore more. It's the brand Inez and this particular model is called the Bianca and it's not a stiletto heel, so it's a little bit thicker, so it's a little sturdier, easier to walk around in, a little bit of a platform, makes everything a little more stable, but it's a very comfortable shoe. There's a lot of built-in support, arch support here. I'm really impressed with the quality of these shoes. I have a wedding coming up in May. I'm planning on figuring out an outfit to style around these. These can be worn with pretty much any color dress I can think of, so it's not going to be too hard. I do have a discount code for these, and I will put that down in the description box and with the comments as well. I know that was a lot of shoes. I know this was a long video. Hopefully you guys love shoes as much as I love shoes. Shoes and handbags, no matter how we're feeling about what we can fit into clothes-wise, shoes and handbags always fit. There's always room for another one in our closet, right? So let me know which category of shoes did you love of which of all of these shoes stood out to you as something that you would be interested in trying on yourself. Let me know if you'd like to see similar ones like this and I will definitely do an updated one once we get fully into summer. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope that you had fun and I'll see you in the next video.